Like, there's a lot of things you want at 13 that your parents won't give it to you. Well, when Wade's son wanted to be a daughter at 12. Daughter. No, that's a different story because they've yeah. gotten, um, it's not different? the same thing. They've gotten him hard counsel and all that stuff. They don't just transition how's a child. Different? There's no difference. It's not the same that's, thing, please. No, how it's is that different? Thing. How is that different? Are you saying there's an age limit to have sex? Like, but she is not fully transitioning. She's just wearing male, a girl clothes. That's okay, what she's but doing. A, right but now. a child came up with something they wanted and the parents gave it to them. I'm not saying sex so and this. dressing up are not the same thing, Wally. Having same sex with a 13 year old and dressing up. Really? Hey, you going to compare he, dressing that, up and having sex are the same thing? No, no it's not the same thing. Ideology, it's not, no, I get, I get, I get, I get what, what, what? what Wale is saying. I get what, what Wale is saying. No, it's not the same it's thing. Me dressing up, whatever I want to dress up, is not the same thing as having sex at thirteen. No, no it's not. It's not. You're right. Clothes. You're right. You're right. What? Are we what even doing okay. this right now? No, it's not the same thing. No, yes. Moving on. Um, there, there, we have some topics, some interesting topics on here. The first one I have here is the little boozy. Um thing that came up the other day um let me just for those that don't know let me play it uh, yeah he is something else isn't he i don't need to share my screen right, since you guys have already seen it so let me just play it for the audience x on um, x my son yeah they were 12 13 they got here yeah that's how it's supposed to be yeah hell yeah i got my fucking son dick sucked you fucking right. <coughs> yes, a grown woman. Grown, super grown. Super grown. Checked his ass out. Checked all my nephews out. Super grown. Is she grown? She checked me out. I know what the fuck she did to them. She checked me out, that bitch. Yeti, could you hear it? Barely. Yeah, I could barely hear, but I know that's what he's strange. Saying. Okay, that's okay. All right, but yeah, that was but, the audio. Uh, that was the audio. Uh, um, and and for those in case the audience didn't hear, it, well, what he was saying was that, um, he made sure that his kids, as early as twelve, thirteen, his his boys, uh, got like access to sex. And I he think- hired a prostitute for them to give them head. And then the same prostitute serviced him as well. Yes. Which is already gross enough without even like, taking an account in their age. Yeah. The fact that you got the same girl to mess with your kids and then mess with you at the same time. Let's not even talk about the, the abuse that the child molestation that that's going like 12, 13 year old. Really? Come on. Yeah. So let's, so let's talk about <sighs> this. Let's talk about this because as guys, right. And you know, there were a lot of comments, right? There were, there were two sides to the comments. There's, there's the one side that were that was saying, Psh. some guys were like, "Man, I wish my my dad, you know, got me a girl to give me head when I was that young." And then there was the other side that were really really pissed off, and they felt like um, people needed to call child protective protective yeah. services on uh, Boozy. Um, and I happened to fall on that side, um, unfortunately, as much as. I know that, you know, they say young boys, you know, we're, we're more, uh, I, <clears throat> people assume that we're more emotionally prepared for sexual encounters. At a young we're age. not. A kid is a kid. 12, or a boy, a girl, 13 years old. Is anyone kid, also kid, talking about the, the women that were paid? She was doing a, she, well, she's doing a job, but she should have said no as well. To a thirteen-year-old, oh, that's as, wrong. She's just as culpable for sure. Yes, yeah. so, but culpable. you're the father of the kid. I'm sorry, we're we understand, but I, you. I, at, at that point, I don't even think it should be easy for. I mean, if we're in an ideal situation, I, but look at this. Uzi is a fight. rapper who has money. Yeah, but, gonna, you know, if she doesn't so, do it, somebody else would do it. Exactly. So it's 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 wrong. Can, regardless, they shouldn't have been doing yeah. it. But Boozy. he's the father. He's the one that's culpable. And he's the, the father. It's supposed to protect the children. Okay. Are you bringing them prostitutes? Right. He's supposed to, and he didn't. And then the person he hired was supposed to be able to have the decency to say, "No, that's a thirteen-year-old boy." But instead, goes ahead because of money. So it's. I mean, she's a sex worker. They do it all the time, but that doesn't. We the most they, blame is on Boozy. He's extent. the father. I'm sorry. I'm not even think about the women. This should be a red hat responsible too, but he is the father. Your job as a parent is to protect your kids. I mean, in his mind, he is protecting 
kid down. How is he protecting his kid? He believes he is. He believes but that's wrong. Uh, just a lot of people believe they're doing the right for the kid that doesn't want to know you. I'm, I'm just saying where he's coming from. Now, I told you guys, I don't think anything's going to happen to Boozy. And that's, see, see that Nothing's was Nothing's ever going to happen. That, that's where I agree I, with that part. That's where I, I feel like if there's one thing P- Americans don't joke about is child abuse. Um, they don't. They hate child abuse. They hate abuse of their pets. They are, they're also very very crazy. But about keep that. in mind, Boozy's kids are black kids as well. They don't. Yeah, care and about who's complaining? Kids. Is it white people? Ah, exactly. So, so Yeti, they're so Yeti, so Yeti. You kids. think because they're black, then they're less likely than people are. The to be protected. Are people don't protect black but, children but, as well but, as they protect white kids. Also, I'm saying who is even the one doing the complaints? Black people or white people? Everyone, black. black and white, online. Okay. Everyone, get, get the, 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 the Nancys of the world to be upset. Then, the, I guess. the Nancys and the Karens, <laughs> Karens, but I, I, those are the only they're ones. Not, they're not upset. I don't they think don't they even are. Know who I don't is. Really know what's going on, right? But they don't, know who is. That's they don't know exactly. Yeah. This, that's the only way I think so become an issue. So, you brought something up, and, and Yeti, I you brought up the racial aspect again. We went there, um, and I and I try to not always jump to that, but. I think there is something to be said about yeah, but but then you make it seem like they don't care because they're black. And my question is, are we as black people holding our own more accountable? I think that we also. Have I mean, to ask people that people complain about it, right? Yeah, people complain and complain, but unless the proper authorities get the video, are they getting the video? I mean, it's a it's a confession. If I've if I've ever heard of a it confession, is, so that's, it is that's a confession. A confession. I agree. 12, but somebody actually acts to actively um uh, get the DA's attention with it. Yeah, and that's then, a, that's the unfortunate then, thing about and then, it. And then what if the kids aren't twelve, thirteen anymore? It doesn't uh, matter. Abuse is abuse. There's a there's a sexual limitation in each state or whatever. But if you were molested at ten. And even if you're 15 and you complain, then they can still well, arrest no, the no perpetrator. Evidence, he said it himself. What do you mean there's no evidence? He confessed. That's confession, that's, that's confession know, that's right confession. there on the video. That can't be huh? held in court. That's not confession. You don't think so? I think Him saying he did it is not confession? It. I can backtrack it. And I can say, say what? something now. Are you and... joking? Yeah. If they interviewed the kids and the kids admit, well, he would. He probably would have coached the kids, kids. to tell them. And do you think his them... kids want to lose their, their dad? They're old enough to someone to tell them that hey man, if you guys admit to this thing, you yeah. know you guys might lose dad. And he all it's he's gonna fight and affair. say he was tipsy, he was drunk. What are you gonna do? That's terrible. And this is the same boozy that's putting his mouth in Dwayne Wade's um kids. If there's, if there's, if there's, if there's mind a, your own business. You, you know what? Rant your own child. That's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah. That's, like, that's, 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 that's a good point. That's a good point. He feels Dwayne Wade. See, he obviously does not. He's anti-gay. And mm-hmm. he feels Dwayne Wade's child, he's talking about it because Dwayne Wade's child is changing from a boy to a girl. And that's why he's using his, his mindset to impose himself on it and saying that's a child. Now, mind in his own mind, he's staring his own child away from that by doing what he's doing. By molesting them and child giving them abuse, because uh, abusing them? Like molestation. Because guess what? When he was a kid, same thing probably happened. These people but that doesn't mean it wasn't still abused. I know. When you interview some of these people, you find out that their aunties had sex with them when they right, were right, right. kids and stuff like that. So in his mind, it's like the cycle goes on, the cycle goes on. And it's not the, obviously, somebody has to break that chain and say, hey, man, this is fucked up. But in his mind, he thinks that. And his wife is confident enough to say it out loud on TV, on whatever. But nothing's going to happen to him. Yeah, unfortunately, there's nothing going to happen to him. But imagine if know. it was Let's a see. girl Let's child see. Let's see. Let's that see. he did the same thing. He hired a male person okay, to and then, but, his girl uh, okay, child. Okay, so if it was a girl child, do you think something would have happened to him? Now, here's the, the I funny believe thing. so. Here's the funny thing is it would never happen to a girl child because that same mindset would also teach you not to, only does happen to boys. Right. No, because but if it was a girl, I feel like the outrage the time, would be yeah. even wilder. He wouldn't but even say it out. Right. If, if someone he said, he wouldn't even I, say I, it. If right. someone said, yeah, I brought this guy to come and have sex with he my 12 year old daughter. He wouldn't even be able to say it out what? loud. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I feel like his mentality would not, he would be one of those to protect the, the, the daughter so you, so, and like protect her virginity and go check her hymen exactly and hospital and all that. Him, yeah. Right. So, Yeti, yeah. so Yeti, what does this tell yeah, you saying, about you know, about young boys? That, that, that we don't protect them as much as we should. We don't protect them as much as we should be protecting them. 
but but a lot it, of people but, say it, like it's terrible but in a way like, doesn't that go against the narrative raped. of because we always talk about how boys guys where you have this privilege this and that i think i think this goes to show there's a certain segment of the population well no, no, no i probably shouldn't say population i shouldn't bring up stats but it goes to show that um whenever people bring up this equality thing these are things that get ignored people don't um, I don't think that's part of it, but I think people don't, they think boys are, like, the same way boys are not allowed to cry and all that stuff. They feel like boys, like, can't be raped. Like, what fuck are listening to when they're talking about male rape and they were laughing about it? That's not funny either. It's, and there were men laughing about yeah. it. It's a toxic masculinity thing, and it's actually part of it, because they feel like boys are should be strong enough to handle that, and if you're raped, that's your fault. You should be able to fight off the rapist or whatever. That's wrong. Is just as much is wrong just as much as it is if it's a girl that's getting raped. So you think this is about toxic masculinity? Yeah, because we see that boys should be able to handle it and and fight off the attacker or rapist. They don't take a lot of male victims don't even report to um, police because because they're ashamed. Let me ask you a question: What if the the thirteen year old boy wanted it? This is just off track. There's a lot of things when at thirteen that your parents wouldn't give it to you. Well, Dwayne Wade's son wanted to be a daughter. Twelve. Daughter, that's a different story because they've that's gotten. Um, it's not different? the same thing. They've gotten him hard counsel and all that stuff. They don't just transition a child. Different? There's no difference. It's not the same that's, thing, please. No, how it's is that different? Thing. How is that different? Are you saying there's an age limit to have sex? Like, but she is not fully limit? transitioning. She's just wearing male, a girl clothes. That's okay, what she's but doing. A, right but now. a child came up with something they want, and the parents gave it to them. I'm not saying sex not and kids. dressing up are not the same thing, Wally. Having same sex with a 13-year-old and dressing up. Really? Hey, Wally, you gonna compare he, that, dressing up and having sex are the same thing? No, no it's not the same thing. Ideology, it's not, no, I get, I get, I get, what, I get what, what Wally is saying. I get what Wally is saying. No, it's, it's not the same thing. Me dressing up, whatever I want to dress up, it's not the same thing as having sex at 13. No, no it's not. not. You're right. Close. You're right. You're right. What? Are we what even doing okay. this right now? No, it's not the same thing. No, you're right. It's not the same thing. If Dwayne Wade allows his daughter to, um, his son to fully transition into a daughter now, would that be a problem? Laws don't even let you transition that quickly either. There are laws for this. So they have wait. That can't let they, their kids can't transition. But you didn't answer the question. You can't transition. Yes. 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 Would, would you think that would be a problem? Do you think that's a problem if Dwayne Wade allowed his child to transition now at 13? Because I don't. I wouldn't think that. Uh, well, <laughs> my the way I see that's it, what I'm I feel like you should be 18 to be able to exactly. transition. Exactly, we agree fully. on that part. But yeah. I yes. feel like we shouldn't. I still believe the ideology behind it is yes. It's not the it, same thing. The, no. Morally, it's not the same thing. To be honest, we don't know how that stripper was, and any law might have she not was been of age. Any law that's might have been matters. broken. No law might have been broken for a twelve-year-old to have sex with an overage person. What's the age person? of consent in Georgia? Even if it was sixteen-year-old, he, he uh, the kid is it, twelve. I, I believe it's sixteen. The I age checked. of so consent I, is not I twelve. I actually checked. <laughs> All right, so so that law was broken. Age of consent law. Yes, was broken. for sure. I checked. For sure, that now, was broken. That's why I. That's why I'm still surprised so, that he hasn't. Saying, like I'm, authorities my, haven't. I'm saying that I'm saying I'm not saying what he did is right, but I'm saying if we can condemn, we 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 both agree that kids are kids. Mm-hmm. Which this is not the time for them to be making their own decisions. And I think that's the same thing. Some decision, some se- sexual decision is not something you should be making at well, twelve. You cannot. Uh, you can't pick and choose now. You can't pick and choose what decisions you can choose. What you want to wear at twelve or you and yourself. You can't pick no, and no, choose. No, 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 no. Yeah, but you, but you can't pick and choose for other people. You can't pick and choose for other people. So can't. wait, you can let a twelve-year-old. The law says you can let a twelve-year-old have sex. No, the law says you can have a twelve-year-old change and cook what they want to wear. Yes. What even if it's just going by law? Okay, Allah good allows point. You to good make point. Your child to wear whatever they want to wear. Good point. Not sex. That is a good point. That is a good point. Right but now. but if we're, we're looking at it from a moral not. view, though, for, so if, if we're looking at it from I, a, no, I agree that Boozy fucked up. But if a thirteen-year-old kid was caught having sex right now, would he get arrested or what's gonna happen? With who though? With someone older, not another thirteen-year-old or a fifteen-year-old, eighteen-year-old, sixteen-year-old. Fifteen. Well, if it's a sixteen, that's uh. Well, I don't know. I don't know about that. They'll just probably yell at them, money. I don't think they'll arrest them. I don't so think they'll arrest so them. Like only, so that sex. is a concern law for them only covers if one person the, is an adult and an the other person adult. isn't. Yes. Boozy, you can fight it. Anyway, again. next, please. What's the next All topic? All right, moving on. <laughs>